Hey Pisces, it's Sunny Avi, and I'm here to just give you guys a little reading just to see what's going on in your atmosphere. Keep in mind that these are journal readings and things that I discuss may not resonate with you. They do, they do, they don't, they don't. Um, and this reading does not have a time frame, so I may talk about things that has already happened that will happen in the future or that is currently happening all right and if you would like a personal reading with me uh please check out my website which is www.thesunnyglow.com um you guys are at like your wits end it's like you're tired of struggling you're tired of being unhappy and i see many of you mentally saying you know what i'm putting my foot down this will be the last time i'm ever going to endure this i'm ever going to experience this i'm ever going to put up with this regardless of what it is you know i just really see y'all like saying i'm never like i can never go back to this point again and i see you know that you guys really mean it you know regardless if it does happen again like mentally like you want to get back to a stronger self um i keep hearing it's this song but i can't think about who sang it or how the hell it go but it has the word unbreakable in it so um maybe many of you uh you are unbreakable during this time um, or you are uplifting your vibration to the point where it's not making you emotionally or spiritually weak because I'm seeing how many of you like there was a lot of attacks around you you know whether it was psychic attacks it was uh, spiritual attacks it was demon attacks like um, I, I just see how like your spirits were weak all right and now you're in a better space okay some of y'all need to eat more bananas during this time be careful of you going cuckoo bananas and acting a plump fool okay um i'm also seeing how the focus is on children some of y'all may um ask yourself when am i going to have another baby i want another baby so baby fever may be happening during this time i am picking up on a boy for some of you okay or maybe you want a, another little boy or a little boy if you don't have one okay but um for some of you i am picking up for some of you i'm seeing how your first child like you're supposed to have a little boy um and i'm seeing how i there was this meme on facebook and it was like females who had a girl first um the reason for you having a girl was because it was time for you to gain maturity and for the females that had a boy first you had a boy because you were meant to experience first love and just you know like being like just dealing with love for the first time so i feel like for the majority of you if you have a boy currently or maybe if your first child is a boy like it is meant for you to experience you know that first love so um let's see what else is going on with pisces so some of y'all just kind of sit sit and wait you've done your part or you've put it out into the universe what you want to happen and all you can really do you know is wait you know when it's time for you to act you know upon things let's what's going on let me see what's going on for the pisces what's going on for my pisces what's going on for pisces something is happening in twos whether you're having twins you're getting two jobs back to back um oh lordy i just keep picking up on twos something in twos or like it's time for you to balance out something but or the number two is going to be very important for you guys during this time or you're seeing double digits 
Let's see what's going on during six hours so enough of the Pisces. During this time what's going on Pisces. Or just whenever you guys want me to discuss. Alright, so your hard work is definitely going to get paid off. Alright. Some of y'all you may feel as if damn I'm doing all this damn work. When am I gonna ever get, you know, recognized for it? When am I ever gonna be happy? Some of y'all you may feel as if you have went or you are going into the wrong field. And you know, for some of you maybe that is the case, alright. But it just depends upon how you feel about it. Like if you go into work every day and you're like why am I here? I really feel like I'm wasting my time. Then, yes, there may be a big possibility of you going into the wrong field. Um, however, if you love with you, if you love what you do, but you're so sad about it, maybe you're in the wrong building. Okay. Um, I do see where some of you guys, the word self-sufficient keeps popping up, and maybe some of y'all like you need to stop doing things on your own, like ask for help or like maybe if someone helps you you know say yes and maybe just maybe you have to trust them and not try to lead them along the way as they help you like sometimes we can be so picky and you know especially if you've been independent for so long trust me i know i'm a capricorn i do resonate with pisces sometimes i have pisces on my chart but i don't remember which area but it's like when you've been independent for so long and when someone is like hey let me help you you're like mm, okay okay and it's like you tell this person how to help you and you know maybe you just kind of step back and just see what this person can do okay um maybe for some of you you are sh um training someone during this time in regards to work and maybe you're just noticing all the mistakes this person is making but just kind of look at the bigger picture and just see if this person is really trying the best or like if they're genuinely like once again like you know trying the best just try not to see the flaws in everything during this time because this is going to make you overlook the positivities as well success is on your way however i am picking up on some blockages many of you guys are just a perfectionist when it comes to work it is i am picking up on a, on a lot of competition when it comes to work for some of you i do see how there is a weird block um when it comes to just work and getting things done i do see where some of you guys are really really tired you're really really tired and you're just frustrated with how things are some of you guys like you feel as if you are a slave to someone or if you are a slave to work during this time i am picking up on relationships being very stressful and you know you guys are going to have to learn to be honest or like stop stop being so bossy you know when it comes to your partner or maybe your partner is a little bossy with you um and like just see what this person can bring to the table that's really what i'm seeing so far like really see take the time to see take the time to pay attention all right um i am picking up that some of you guys your bad habits are showing during this time okay i do see where some of you guys there may be some problems when it comes to addictions uh, rather it's substance abuse, it's addictions with sex, porn, um, it's addiction with shopping, it's addiction with eating. Um, I do see how you guys are going to have to deal with that during this time as well. But, but you're able to overcome it. You're able to overcome it. It's like you're being hit with the reality of things, whether you want to see it or not. Oh, somebody got the energy of like being realistic. And I want to remember who. Maybe it was the Leos. I want to say it was one of the fire signs. I want to say it was either Leo, Sag, maybe Aries. Maybe. I'm not sure. It was one of them, I do know. Um. For some of you, it is meant for you to go in the healing 
type of field um, or like you're broadcasting yourself or you're broadcasting your talent. However, I do see where, you know, not a lot of people are going to agree with what you do or like what you do. Or maybe some of you guys, you feel as if people are judging you during this time because of your interest and that makes you like want to shut down or like not share with people anymore but like don't don't let close minded people like ruin your day honestly it is what the fuck it is everybody has different opinions and it's just life okay for some of you if you're dealing with a Capricorn during this time um I do see how it's you you guys can benefit from a Capricorn okay and maybe tough but I'm seeing how for some reason it's like glue like you guys are like glue like you have the ability of making magic during this time or like helping each other out when it comes to a difficult situation if you have Capricorn within your chart I do see where some of you guys you may have issues with letting things go okay or you're just you're prone to having this Debbie Downer or look looking at the bad side of life during this time I'm also seeing how some of you guys you may have a lot of weird dreams um for some of you you may feel kind of creeped out at night time um for some reason um for some of you I am picking up that you may be seeing a lot of bats either in your dreams or bats outside your home okay um it's, it's really time for you guys to be vulnerable with yourself uh, or just with someone who you feel like is giving you a hard time um, or vice versa um, and like just letting them know how you feel either way okay uh, some of y'all need to get a spiritual bath or you need a cleansing um, or it's, it's time for you to get something new new energy new vibration um, I keep picking up on like some of you guys either you're craving peaches or you need to eat peaches during this time or maybe for some of you I know this will be TMI maybe some of you guys um, your partner wants to eat you out more or um, you meet someone who is just like really into oral sex or eating your ass out <laughs> I know sorry anyway um, I am picking up that some of you guys you're picking up on extra income during this time or it's like you you're really really busy and it's like you're doing everything at once please make sure that you don't make any mistakes I know sometimes it's you know kind of hard when we really don't pay attention but um but yeah, some of y'all, like I said earlier, like you can't do everything by yourself. But hell, maybe you can. Shit, you've been doing it for this long. But your divine God and it was like, they just want you to take a little break. Take a little break, God. It's needed. It's needed. Y'all need to go somewhere near some water. For real, go to the beach, go to the pond, go to the lake. And just like listen to that water. Some of y'all, you need to incorporate. If you have a business, you need to incorporate like water, flowing water or the sound of water um into your business or the color blue in order for you to gain success when it comes to your business okay if you are dealing with an Aquarius during this time I do see where some of you guys you may feel a little heartbroken when it comes to this Aquarius or like you feel as if um this person isn't paying much attention to you all right if you have Aquarius within your chart I do see where some of you guys you may be very prone to having sharp headaches or you're seeing flashes in your eyes like your eyes sight may be messing up I feel like there's a weird connection when it comes to your brain and eyes and it's like those are messing up really really bad if you can get a cat scan I'm not trying to scare you but for some reason I am seeing uh, either there's a lot of pressure or there's a lot of build up when it comes to either the brain or the eyes okay um something else I want to say but I forgot all right so there is talks of new love um for some of you I do see where new love can be a little creepy yeah you may be meeting people who are typically not your type 
but you are attracted to them. For some of you, I am picking up when it comes to new love. You are connecting with a lot of toxic relationships. And some of y'all like, mm, pay attention to the red flags, okay? Um, but I am seeing how this is a beautiful time for you guys to improve and like to really learn to get things out. Some of you need to go on a detox as well. Um, so there's definitely talks of new love. New love is definitely, excuse me, coming into the picture. And for some of you, it's just like there's a possibility of you having this energy of, oh my God, I've been waiting for you, you know, for a long time. You know, for some of you, this may be love at first sight. Um, but honey, just make sure you don't have those rose colored sunglasses on. Okay. Um, but for some of you, this person, you know, they have the ability of like really allowing for you to just get things out. Someone said, I said this, you know, I, I was about to say someone said this. I, my angels spoke to me. My angels be speaking through me sometimes. Um, who I said this, uh, someone had the title of it. I want to know who. It was the Sagittarius. So some of y'all, you may come in contact with the Sagittarius during this time. Or you may have Sag within your chart. And um, it's like you're meeting someone who is um, allowing for you to like get all the negativities out. Alright. Um... I am picking up on blessings when it comes to children, um, like a new baby coming into the picture. For some of you, um, I do see how it's like, I hate to say this, I hate to say it like this, but it's like the baby is coming at a wrong time. It's like maybe you and your partner are arguing um, or you're thinking about leaving your partner and then five days later you're pregnant. You know, it's that type of situation. Um, for some of you, maybe you don't know who the dad is. I hate to say or uh, for my men uh, maybe a female tells you hey I'm pregnant and you're like is it mine are you sure okay let's get a DNA test when the baby comes it's one of those type of energies all right um I do I am picking up how some of you guys um you you may be kind of bitter when it comes to love or like maybe your partner did some effed up things all right and they're like I'm sorry Will you forgive me? And you're like, I'll think about it. You're very cold when it comes to your partner. But do what you want. It's, it's your relationship. All right. Um, being mindful of mis miscommunication. I'm definitely seeing that when it, when it comes to every type of communication. Whether it's friends, family, uh, co-workers, bosses, love. Hey, communication with yourself. Like, make sure you're listening make sure you're paying attention and vice versa and if you don't understand say can you repeat that what do you mean all right um i am picking up on issues in regards to work like there's a uh, malfunctions when it comes to the printer there's malfunctions when it comes to the internet or computers all right um i am picking up on financially you guys are a little worried and unsure about that when it comes to an air sign Aquarius is Gemini Libra um, this person may be offering you something but at the same time it doesn't feel original and you can take that how you want to okay um, but all in all you guys just you know what you want and you want the best of the best so that may be why some of y'all, for some of y'all, you're acting a little stingy during this time. I am picking up that some of you guys, you are attracting someone who is very territorial. Okay? Um, they have the energy of a wounded Scorpio. Where it's just like, you're mine, no one else can have you. And that's just how it is. So be mindful of you connecting with someone like that. Or someone who is overly clingy. It's okay to be clingy, alright? I am picking up where some of you guys, there is lessons when it comes to your finances and or business during this time. Um, I do see, I keep picking up on property. Some of you guys 
um, there's issues with your property during this time, whether you owe taxes on your property or you have to make some sort of repair. I am picking up on water leakages when it comes to a particular property um, during this time. I know that um, Florence, Hurricane Florence came, so maybe some of you guys are dealing with that issue. Um, you know, a lot of water damage. Um, but I'm seeing that you guys are getting back on your feet. Don't rush it though. Give it all time. All right. It's like maybe I, for some of you, you may be in panic mode, but for others, I just feel like you're just like really like ready to get things going. Um, that you're, that's just how it is. Like you, you really want to strive to be the best. And, you know, I feel like this is a very good energy. I do. But overall, like, I'm just seeing where you guys, like, just really need to accept some help. Okay. Um, take breaks whenever you are feeling down. Make sure you aren't putting yourself in a tricky situation. All right. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, I do see how this person may be a little self-centered for some of you during this time. Um or or this person like they have their own issues and you know maybe it appears as if they're being self-centered but that's how they act when they're hurting that's how they act when they're confused okay um and if you have earth sign within your chart i do see where your focus is on stability during this time and you're just trying to find ways of getting back on track some of y'all you kind of lost yourself or you feel as if something was stolen from you you feel as if something was taken from you and you're trying to get that back and you can take that you want to for some of you you may feel as if you've been cursed or something is haunting you now i keep getting the energy of like cursed like someone cursed your stability someone cursed what was positive to you that's what i'm seeing but i'm seeing how this happened like ages ago like rather this happened for weeks for like maybe for weeks for months for days but i'm picking up more like four years ago this is when this type of curse happened or in the month of april like i keep picking up like this was a while ago and maybe you're still thinking about it um or maybe it feels as if like you're still carrying on that particular baggage from four years ago or maybe something that you did like is haunting you now like the past is you know haunting you um but on a brighter note i i do see that you guys like there was darkness but like you're coming in today you're coming into daylight is what i'm saying but just appreciate the day and also appreciate the darkness because darkness is can always make or break you really and it does make you a stronger person so you know you you have to appreciate the bad as well as the good really that's what i'm saying but I really do see y'all coming from, you know, like confusion and sadness and like just weird energy. And it's like y'all are taking it and you're flipping it and you're mastering it and you're able to like teach others um, how to, you know, overcome this struggle. I am picking up for some of you. There is addictions. Uh, to, I don't know if I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. There's this addictions and I cannot talk. There is. Um, addictions to substance or you know someone who has this problem and like maybe you are witnessing this person go downhill and maybe you decide to get this person help once and for all or maybe like this person like they're getting the help for themselves um yeah some of y'all it's like you're seeing someone change for the better maybe it's not you maybe it's someone else and you're seeing them change for the better all right uh, but once again energy of help either you need help or someone else needs help and either way what if you need to help allow for someone to help you and if someone else needs to help maybe you need to help them okay but hopefully you guys 
enjoyed this read and hopefully it made sense because I love with everything and I shall be back in the future. Bye.